uh, from, uh, from organizations which are supporting such a large initiative and grappling with issues like these. Uh, cybersecurity is just not a technical issue in a broader perspective. We want to touch on that. It is a business centric. It has a lot of importance in the governance, the reputational risk, and also it has a lot of I I impact on the uh, performance risk for the, for the organization. A uh, few housekeeping issues we want to touch on. Throughout this uh, conversation, everybody is in the mute. Uh, it will be in a mute ses session, and the chat session will be open, so you can post your questions as you, fo as you go along. At the end of the presentation, we'll, we'll uh, take on a few, uh, few, few of your questions. To the best of our uh, time frame we have, in addition to that, uh, we'll follow up with the uh, audio recording uh, uh, of this, uh, audio and video recording of this call. Uh, with that said, let me quickly run through our agenda. As you all know, that as you can see, I'm partnered with uh, MetroStream. Pawan is calling in from India. Uh, the agenda is I'm going to touch on the higher, more of the broader perspective, and talk about the cybersecurity landscape, and then also we'll touch on the uh, SQH's uh, value proposition um, from, a, from a GRC perspective. And which will be, again, as I mentioned to you, to be more on the business centric. And Pawan will take over from me, and he will give, take a deeper dive into the, tech, uh, the technology as an enabler uh, from a from metric stream standpoint. And then we will wrap it up with a Q&A at the end. The goal is, that, is to uh, finish up this call by within an hour time frame and try to condense and uh, try to address as many uh, challenges and issues, uh, you know, forms are facing in tackling the uh, you know, a growing, ever growing challenge uh, around cyber security. Okay, with that said, let me uh, talk about a few introductions, right, which is sort of like set, set, the sound, set the foundation for this call. I'm the practice leader for GRC from a straight, I've been in the uh, industry for a few over 28 years. I have a lot of passion in this for the GRC CEO, not only from a business standpoint, also from an IT uh, transformation standpoint. Uh, the important point, which might be of some importance to the, uh, to, uh, to the people who are on the call, is I'm a very active member in the InfraGuard. So I can give you some of the insights uh, publicly announced, uh, DOD, uh, what the government is doing from, uh, from tackling the uh, cybersecurity cyber security challenges. My co, uh, I am, uh, my co speaker is from Metrixtreme. It is my privilege and honor to introduce Pawan Udari. And he, he's the uh, product manager from uh, Metrixtreme. Um, as you can see, he has, uh, he has even a deeper knowledge in the, uh, in the space of GRC. Um, he will take a technology as well as the industry perspective, what he is seeing from, a, from a overall client, serving the client what kind of challenges they are facing. Let me go deep into the landscape aspect of it. Cybersecurity, is, is, you know, from a maturity standpoint, has a lot of these challenges. PwC has recently did a survey which came out in 27, early part of 27. As you all can see, you know, the, the most of the uh, industries we are touching on actually take on financial services, healthcare, uh, you know, retail industries, are grappling with this, they, they are actually looking at, if you see 62% uh, of them, as you say, they expect, they said that it has disturbed them in the last three years. They have some kind of a, you know, a disaster recovery they plan they had to put in play. On the other side, if you see only 9% of them actually have a maturity model. So this kind of like gives you an idea about how prepared you are as an organization to, uh, to take on a challenge like this. So uh, specifically, you look at the data breach trends, as you can see. This is a uh, study done by IBM uh, recently uh, from, a, from the BI intelligence. Uh, the, the insights they came out is they, they believe that 53% of them are insiders of an organization. It's not actually uh, inevitably, people, employees of organizations doing, not knowing exactly 
what are the ramifications of uh, cybersecurity threats they're going to be causing. Um, and the other side, you can see around about 42% of them are actual outsiders. And recently, um, New York uh, AG came out with the target uh, settlement of $18.5 million just for data breach for itself. And this is actually, if, you, if uh, people are following this case, it has implications for 47 states um, uh, from uh, from the breach, um, you know, uh, forensic uh, stand, cyber forensic standpoint. So it's a huge, it's a huge, huge undertake for organizations to uh, to tackle this alone by themselves. And you can blame on the legacy system, operating system, patchwork, you know, that is not up to par. Uh, but again, this is actually a threat an organization needs to have a pretty good uh, understanding as well as uh, have some controls and mitigations for that. So let me touch on a few of the challenges, right? What we have seen in the industry, talking to some of the uh, senior management folks across uh, several different sectors. The primary focus, as you can see, is uh, the challenges they have. They don't have a strategy in play. So when you don't have risk management strategy in play, uh, you, you know, overall, you're running without a, uh, a kind of roadmap. So when you run without a roadmap, you are leading yourself to vulnerability, uh, which again leads into your how effective your risk controls and risk and controls are being mitigated uh, on this challenge by itself. Second is your talent, your talent pool by itself in the um, cybersecurity. Um, you can go and get your um, CISSP certificate. Um, you can hire people with SME in cybersecurity. But the, the importance of that uh, team, the productivity of that team, uh, ha has, to, has to play very well with the overall strategy, right, as an as a overall governance model. The other thing is, is as we have seen more and more, is the human error. Part, which we already talked about, which is also the cost. So you could train a lot of employees to have uh, to do them what they do and don't are. Um, but again, in order to be able to have an effective uh, a training program, you need to have the overall, uh, it has to be tied to somewhere to their performance review or some of those to mandate their, uh, their overall um, cybersecurity risk as an organization. And then, as you can see, the data attack is at a higher risk, and it is continuously going. Let me, I know there's an elephant in the room. I know we're going to talk about cyber. Uh, we, have, we talk about the uh, WannaCry uh, recently, what has happened uh, in the UK. Um, it has a profound impact, not only in the hospitals, several sectors, even telecom industries have hit pretty hard uh, just by one, uh, you know, one bad malicious code being put in. So, and then these in incidents are continue to increase. I'm going to, I'm going to talk more about that in the trends we're going to be looking, we are looking at. And then also on the other side, regulators are not giving you a slack either. And you look at it as, as such. Their guidance per se, as you see, just reported their guidance is of, it's of very high level for organization to grapple, grapple with it. So you need to have some, some mechanics for which you can have a, um, you know, take those uh, regulations into more implementation, 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 wait and see approach. That is something, you know, uh, wait for the regulators to come back and say, what is right and what is not wrong. Again, the goal here is to get to that, again, go back to the maturity model, right? What other steps do you need to put in play for an organization to be successful? So here are some few of our recommendations, right? These are just strictly recommendations on a very high level. Uh, doesn't mean, again, th these are recommendations need to be tailored to your organizational needs. Uh, you know, first and foremost, you can see is your policies and procedures. Cybersecurity policies and procedures are again it's a it's an ongoing regulation which are coming through the pipeline. Uh, some of them are uh, you know uh, quick solutions you could impl implement. Some of them have their uh, own challenges um, because of the siloed organization by itself coming together between 
uh, your three lines of defense, uh, risk compliance, legal, um, and also your IT folks to come together and to have a cohesive policy and procedures. Those are some of the challenges that the organization has to struggle with. Uh, but again, the, the question is, do you have a, uh, an ambiguous policy and procedures for cybersecurity? That is something the organization should take a closer look at it. Next is about, is do you have a, some kind of a best of the breed solution for it, okay? Have the framework mindset, right? And that's where I would touch on the DRC as a concept, right? DRC is actually a framework. It's a it's a mindset. It's a it's a practitioner's way of looking at taking these three pillars together. You will have a path to your maturity. That is what all DRC is all about. Is it gives you the path to maturity in taking any specific regulation to implementation. Okay, so let's. Proceed further down, right? There are some of the challenges again you can see. You can mitigate using as a tool, as a point, point of reference. A partnership like uh, Metric Stream uh, has a, a, a tool which has the ability to give you a one site integrated view uh, to give you the not only the governance aspect of it, your vulnerabilities, you know, mitigation techniques you could do, focus on. These are tools which will give you the ability to investigate further down and put additional controls. The best of the best of the controls you can have will be very effective as long as you can test it and make sure it works effectively for your organizational needs. If those controls have weak control points, it will, you, will, you will see those uh, you know, failing over and over with the, all the malicious attacks coming through the pipeline. The, the, the challenge, some of the recommendations again we would say is you have a clear response team, right, which is very important. And having a response team, not as an after the fact, as a governance model, as an operating committee, you have a team which is effectively supported by the senior management with the right amount of visibility, uh, you know, for this committee to, to have an effective controls in play and test those uh, you know, controls which these uh, uh, response team is going to put in play. Do some black box testing, right? For sunny day, you know, uh, rainy day scenarios for your controls and how effect, uh, effective those controls are. So that leads to me. The last point here is about culture. This is something, you know, which is you can put, put tools, you can put governance, you can have a framework. As long as you have, you don't have a good cultural overhaul, Tech, uh, technology cannot solve all your problems. You need to have this as these again and again. It has to come from top down uh, approach, wherein you're taking a, a cohesive approach in challenges, not only just for as a one time activity, it is an ongoing activity. So, as you can see, you cannot have it as a just as a backbone act and as a, as a black room activities and uh, put it all together. Uh, I say, say who is the rock star, and you want to call to putting a, a governance model and having a, a robust system to play is our chief security officer, or it could be anybody in your organization who's playing that role. So in the midst of all these is where I'm going is we have a rock star amongst us from Metrostream today who's going to touch on the technical enabilities in, in, as an enable, technology as an enabler, who will be able to provide you some strategic roadmap for you to, uh, to achieve the goals and objectives of your organization and try to get your arms around the overall issues of cybersecurity. Okay, silent being silent is not the only, only way you can, uh, you know, uh, wait, and, wait, and wait, to wait and see for and, uh, regulators to walk in. is not a very effective approach, we believe that. So let's look at some, some of the trends, right? Where are we heading with, right? Where are we, the trends are, again, very, very clear. Wanna cry may go into uh, wanna scream, right? These are all, we have seen this many days, many many of these uh, these uh, coming silo attacks coming from uh, in a group of uh, perpetrators just walking working at silos, right? In you know, attacking organizations, getting the uh, uh, these you know they they're very easy to get these uh, tools uh, which are available right on the software are available right on the on the internet itself. You can download it and make something out of it, and which will create a, a huge impact. Uh, not only uh, the overall operation standpoint for the organization. And these attacks are going to be more 
signature based attack which is very specific for example if you take uh, it might take a month or it might take four years similar to what we saw in sony attack so again this is going to be if anybody would like to hack you they will find ways to hack you it is going to in some other way you're going to leave some uh, you know weak links you may want to call in your overall infrastructure to be able to uh, get through to penetrate through your architecture and the other thing is that these attacks are not just uh, one uh, side of it it has it has an enterprise level attack it has a huge impact it has impact on your reputation it has has impact on your uh, overall operations right it has all it also has your brand reputation is something is going to be hit pretty hard. The other thing which we are, it kind of like DOD has been um, in learning a lot of these information of the espionage, right? Foreign countries has significant impact um, on, the, um, on the ongoing um, um, cyber security uh, attacks have been happening. The other thing is we are moving to cashless society. Now that is something that's a new concept. You know that Bitcoin, uh, is a, another way, as you can see, in the blockchain is something coming through the pipeline. It morphs the, uh, the uh, you know, it gives the uh, even more additional reasons for hackers to get ransom, uh, you know, getting to, uh, you know, do more of these kind of acti activities given that we are uh, moving into a cashless society. What does that mean is you get more exposure, you have less resilience, and which means you resilience to your cyber attack, which means ultimately going to increase your systematic systematic risk. When you increase your systematic risk, you're going to farther away move away from your goals and objectives of being a mature organization for cybersecurity. Training your employees uh, with the uh, with the new uh, new and updated um, malware coming uh, through the pipeline. Several ways. You can um, effectively deploy these employees around the globe who also have uh, to uh, support the, some of the fundamental challenges you face in cybersecurity. In, in all in all, I'd say, as I said, the stone on the top has to be the one which is the governance overall to oversee all that. So uh, recently, uh, the deputy AG did announce that, that, well, one thing is compliance is expensive. I know that it has a direct impact to your, um, uh, to, uh, towards your uh, 10K, but along those lines, if you try not to be in compliance, that also has a huge impact of not being compliant. So it's, I would say dollars to cents uh, if you equate that. So. Before I hand off to uh, Pawan to talk about the technology aspect of it, how it can be more focused towards the uh, some of the uh, some of the challenges you can tackle with the cybersecurity, let me touch on estimate real quick a few two three slides on what the value proposition is, what we can bring to the table for you. Estimate is a um, global organization; it's an agile organization. It's based on Silicon Valley. And we are around about uh, you know 400, 500 people spread across the world. We have global presence, as you can see. Uh, we've been in the industry for you know, about 12 years. Uh, some other verticals we have been supporting healthcare, financial services has been our strong focus. Retail has also been a, a something we are exploring heavily into that. Some of the practice area we are uh, focusing on DRC. Data analytics is one, product engineering is one, subscription billing and revenue is also another one. So but the focus is again, the overall is again, we focus on the people, process, pricing. Um, the reason for that is, is again, is bottom line, you need to get the performance for you to achieve an, um, a cohesive goal, which are geared towards your overall strategy implementation. As you can see, we are partnered with all the top brand of the you know, organizations out there from a technology vendor standpoint. Here are some snapshots of our clients. If you go to our website, you can see a full list of our clients across the four verticals we are supporting. And some value proposition, we are number one global partner with uh, Metrics Stream. We tailor the solutions for your, uh, for your GRC needs. In addition to that, we drive the value proposition by providing a GRC program, which is more, uh, not only just a short-term, also a long-term approach 
in how we get to a solution provider. Some of the value proposition of the technology, and we could be a partner as a trusted partner. We could be providing you, we are making the, in the making decision making process of whether you're picking the right technology vendor. Either you could build in, you know, a, as a as an existing platform within your organization, or best of the beat, combine combine both of them and be able to provide a uh, in a robust solution for you. Also, we are into the, uh, so we are very strong in the business governance process. So not only just putting the uh, controls around, we are able to implement those processes to be more effective. And this is some of the engagement model we, we have built across uh, four verticals, PRC services, one child staff augmentation is other. This is something program based approach is something to take a systematic approach in taking a problem and provide you a roadmap from concept to inception. And in addition to that, we have a, uh, deeper management consulting experience for you to provide the, uh, not only to communicating effectively with the senior management or across the board within the organization to provide a cohesive solution for you. So with that, I will hand off to Pavan. Let's see. Thanks, Gavin. Uh, thanks for your insight. Hello, everyone again. Uh, I'm Pavan Mudali. I'm from Metric Stream. Uh, so I primarily take care of uh, the product marketing activities for uh, the ITGRC, cybersecurity, and the business continuity suite of products. Uh, just wanted to check back if uh, everyone on the call is able to hear me or is give me a quick shot. Uh, yeah. So, Kevin, just checking with you. Do I need to share my screen? Uh, you can just keep going. Tell me next slide. I'll get going. Okay. That's good. Okay. So uh, for the next few minutes, uh, we will be talking about what does an integrated approach uh, to cybersecurity exactly mean, and uh, why do we need it in the very first place, and how can you leverage the metric stream ITGRC solution for integrated cybersecurity management? Gavin, can you move to slide 19? Uh, I am froze. Okay. Okay. Let me share my screen if that works. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. So when it comes to cybersecurity, uh, the threat landscape has grown exponentially. What is new is that many of the cyber events, supply chain disruptions, and data breaches are impacting the availability of critical business processes. As we can see uh, from the very recent WannaCry ransomware cyber attack uh, that hit over 200,000 banking institutions, hospitals, and other high-profile organizations across more than 150 countries. Uh, the Anthem data breach, which caused the organization more than 100 million USD, illustrates how unprepared, unprepared most of the organizations are to counter the growing menace of cyber threats. These recent incidents that involve security and data breaches, supply chain disruptions, highlight that uh, cybersecurity is not purely a technical matter, are uh, the responsibility of the IT department, and there is a compelling need uh, for the business continuity, security, and risk teams to work more closely together towards an integrated approach to cybersecurity management. So what exactly, uh, when, you, when we say uh, integrated cybersecurity management, what are we talking about? So before we get into uh, what exactly an integrated approach means, I have a quick uh, assessment question for the audience on uh, the call on your current approach to security management. Do you manage cybersecurity uh, through its own set of controls within IT, which are separate from the enterprise-wide risk management program? If you say yes, 
Metric Stream recommends it is utmost necessary to bring cybersecurity into a common integrated framework across the enterprise. Uh, when we uh, talk about today's global economy, virtually uh, every aspect of an organization's operation is vulnerable to disruption. And the risk and the cost of disruption extend well beyond information technology. Although information security, risk management, business continuity, and crisis come from very different perspectives, they have common overlapping goals. In order to achieve what we call as the cyber risk resilience, organizations need to have a converging approach. You need to follow four key, four key disciplines for this. What are those? Let me highlight all four of those for you. The first one is you need to quantify risks qualitatively or quantitatively by determining the probability of occurrence and estimated impact of cyber risk even. The second is you build a crisis capability to strive to respond and thrive in adversity. This is a core part of your cyber security plan in the event of a data breach. The third one is planning how to maintain the continuity of your operations and your most important services. And the fourth and the final one being aligning your risk and resilience to mitigate a wide range of risks. All these four disciplines should converge to identify, uh, evaluate, and treat risks when it comes to common goal of resilience. This, according to metric stream, is the most uh, major change or a key aspect over the last five to 10 years. The second uh, key aspect which I would like to talk about is how technology-based IT GRC solution helps to achieve this. Let us first discuss what enterprises expect from an IT GRC or an integrated cybersecurity solution. According to us, the key areas which an IT GRC or a cybersecurity solution should include are it should be able to manage the full spectrum of your cybersecurity risks from vulnerabilities and advanced uh, attack threats to corporate governance and IT compliance applications. It should also be able to provide a single point to multiple IT risk and compliance frameworks. It should also provide the ability to integrate with multiple external systems to capture any information or regulatory updates and compliance content. And finally, and most importantly, it should be able to provide executive role-based dashboards to understand the current security posture of your organization. So both the key aspects which we had discussed are interlocked as an IT GRC solution can help the organization to achieve the goal of integrated cyber security management. Let us talk about how you can leverage the metric stream IT GRC solution for integrated cyber security management. The metric stream IT GRC solution cuts across uh, enterprise silos, aggregating and mapping together the cyber risk, threat, and compliance and control data in one single system. It provides a single point of reference to manage IT and security risk management, IT compliance management, and finally, threat and vulnerability management. Let us, some, let us spend some time here to understand how the metric stream IT GRC solution can address this. Firstly, let us talk a bit about the IT risk management app. The app enables you to set up IT and cyber risk assessment plans easily and allows you to scope and schedule risk assessments based on your unique requirements. The app can be leveraged uh, to calculate and report IT risk calls by leveraging the app's configurable scoring methodologies, calculation engines, and algorithms. It also allows you to perform risk assessments and computations based on industry standard risk and threat modeling methodologies, which include uh, spread and uh, dread and spread. The app also provides an automated workflow to identify issues for remediation and assign them to owners across business units. You can also define action plans, send it to the respective stakeholders, and track it to closure. You can also set up automatic alerts and notifications to 
ensure timely completion of tasks. To, so, to summarize, the metric stream uh, IT risk management app streamlines IT and cyber risk documentation, control definition, and management, multi dimensional risk assessments, issue identification, and implementation of any remediation plans, along with risk analysis and reporting. Let us get to the next part of uh, next key component of uh, the IT GRC solution, which is the IT compliance app. The IT compliance app allows you to set up, plan, uh, manage, and contest test surveys and certifications on line items like controls, area of compliance, processes, standards, and objectives. The app provides uh, support to define IT control tests and questions, develop certifications, surveys, and schedule these plans and respond to these procedures to determine control performance. The other two key components of uh, the IT compliance app, which we believe are the market differentiators uh, with respect to cybersecurity include uh, GRC intelligence and integration with the U UCF common control stuff. Let us talk about both of these. So what exactly is GRC intelligence? So GRC intelligence serves as a one-stop source for GRC and cybersecurity related content. This portal is a is an open standard based content aggregation site offering content from over 50 leading content partners, which include uh, Risk Spotlight, uh, LexisNexis, Dow Jones, and Thomson Writers Complement, to name a few. Uh, this particular combination of software, content, and community is the right solution for an env environment where the regulations and the requirements are continuously changing and keeping pains with them is uh, much needed and essential to reduce the overall risk. Now coming to the second differentiator, which is the UCF Common Control Hub. The Metric Stream IT Compliance app provides native integration uh, with the UCF Common Control Hub framework. This helps to standardize and harmonize the control sets across multiple IT and cybersecurity regulations. The UCF Common Controls Hub provides an industry vetted compliance database that maps and harmonizes more than 9,300 plus IT control statements to more than 1,200 plus regulation standards and frameworks. Mm -hmm. The Common Controls Hub connects various criteria, policies, and lexicons of over 200,000 individual compliance mandates, over 800 law standards and regulations. This includes supports for various frameworks such as COVID-5, ISO 27001, uh, NIST 800, and ITIL for implementing the best practices and covers and also covers various compliance requirements which include FFIEC, HIPAA, PCI, DSS, and other government and state mandates to name a few. It also allows you uh, to generate delta reports wherein you can upload your existing operating control data onto the metric stream yeah. solution to be mapped to the reference data. This helps you to measure the compliance gaps for any given area and achieve continuous improvement over a period of time. Coming to the final component of the metric stream IT GRC solution, which is the threat and vulnerability app. The threat and vulnerability app leverages the common vulnerability data model to map security threat and vulnerability data to assets and asset classes across vulnerability scanners and other third party security operational tools such as Qualys Guard and Nessus. It defines a pr vulnerability prioritization methodology by combining the vulnerability severity and business criticality of the assets. It also ensures that you can trigger a remediation and issue management workflow based on the vulnerability scoring and prioritizing leveraging issue management functionality as well as integration with external tools which include PNC remedy and service now in incident <clears throat> management. One of the key differentiator with respect to the TVM app is the it helps you to consolidate threat intelligence. How good is that when uh, when you see uh, 
looming threats like the ransomware coming in play. It allows you to stay on top of, of, of threats and vulnerabilities before they are discovered in business assets by creating and subscribing to RSS or email-based threat alerts or channels of interest from various industry sources. Also, an interesting point of discussion here would be how exactly an integrated solution offering risk management, business continuity, vendor governance, along with information security programs on a single platform with strong governance frameworks scores over other point solutions in the market. So an integrated cybersecurity management system can leverage the centralized metric stream GRC platform to orchestrate, orchestrate a common taxonomy across the enterprise. A scalable and extensible platform of shared capabilities can be leveraged by all the various functions such as information security, business continuity, vendors, operational risk practitioners. It also helps that the centralized platform allows the users to leverage the extensive set of libraries for risks, controls, processes, policies, regulations, and other key elements. To understand how the solution provides a centralized point of reference to manage the entire range of cybersecurity processes across the extended uh, across the enterprise as well as the supplier ecosystem. Let us go through a couple of customer success stories. To understand this better, let us look at a couple of organizations uh, where Metricstream IT GRC solution has been implemented. The first one is a leading healthcare insurer in mid-Atlantic region, and the second one we are talking about is a, is a very large US government agency. Before we understand how the solution helped them, uh, let me try to highlight some of the common challenges faced by these organizations. Few of the common challenges, will ask, uh, according to the client, include uh, less top management support, uh, manual assessments or multiple checklists throughout the enterprise, lack of alignment of cybersecurity with the organization's overall enterprise risk program, and finally, missing collaboration between uh, the departments and various business units. So how did the integrated IT and security solution help you? The solution provided a single framework to assess the cyber risks, third-party risks, operational risks, and also ensure compliance with recognized best practices and standards, which include ISOs, ISO CDs, NIST 800, and PCI DSS, to name a few. It was also able to proactively manage cyber risks, threat, and vulnerabilities, through which the clients were able to minimize the impact of business disruptions and cyber attacks, as well as aid in crisis and incident management planning by streamlining and automating the entire IT GRC process. The key benefits as put forth by these clients are greater transparency into the top strategic risks for the stakeholders, senior management, and the board, which include cyber-related, uh, which include more visibility into the cyber-related continuity and the operational risks. It also ensures that the organization operates within the boundaries of the risk of fee, and there is a common risk taxonomy in place. What does it, what did this lead to? Better visibility, integration, and control. Better decisions across the enterprise, uh, right from the lowermost to the topmost senior level management. Significant risk reduction, immediate savings, lower cost, and most importantly, reputation and brand protection. As we conclude this webinar, allow me to spend a minute to introduce Metric Stream here. Uh, Metricstream is a leading independent GRC vendor in the world, and we are not just recognized as a leader at integrated GRC, but also as a leader for each of the 20 plus applications that enables integrated GRC. Also, Metricstream has also been recognized as a leader by leading analysts, including Gartner, Forrester, Chatters, consistently over the last seven years in integrated GRC. I also would like to personally uh, take some time to invite you to the Metastream GRC Summit 2017. The summit is uh, is a most influential GRC and cybersecurity gathering 
tutoring a globally recognized GRC cybersecurity expert, CSOs, business leaders, and GRC practitioners who will share the real world case studies and discuss and engage in industry discussions primarily on the theme of GRC for high performance. Thank you everyone for your participation and uh, I will hand it over to Gavin as we'll probably be proceeding to the Q&A session. Thank you. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think it's, a, it's an excellent, excellent uh, view, uh, Pawan. Um, you know, in addition to the GRC summit, you mentioned that um, S-Rate is also will be a part of the uh, will be a part of this uh, summit. Some in some of the interesting um, aspects of this GRC summit, I would like to touch on is you will be able to hear from the industry experts about some of the challenges they are grappling with. So that gives you the some of our, some of the insights about not only just the cybersecurity or other issues, your governance issues you are working on. And along those lines, um, we also uh, will be having a booth at the, uh, S2A will have a booth at the uh, GRC Summit. We stop by and uh, say hello and uh, be a part of this journey. And then I would want to say this very clearly from right from the start, get go, we said, you're not alone in this journey, right? You say it's a collective process as a ecosystem we are, as we, as you as you as you evolve, evolving with the GRC process itself, uh, it is a collective approach of the industrial leaders and the experts being in the field, be able to provide a cohesive understanding of what this governance can help you to establish a successful and a long-lasting relationship building activities. With that, I will ask you to submit some questions on the on the chart so that we can address few of your concerns. If you're unable to get all of them, we'll be able to certainly follow up with, the, uh, with a call or with, a, uh, with an email to address some of those issues. At this point, we'd like to open up the floor for some questions. Hello. Well, we still have uh, a few more minutes, and I think uh, the best interest will, uh, will will connect with you for questions and and uh, answers because it looks like we still have some technical issues with our with our end. So let me um, let me conclude this webinar um, at this point, and we'll follow up with uh, taking some of your questions through our uh, email process we have established the way you signed in before, and I. Uh, Hope you can still hear me. If you do, I would encourage you to be a part of the uh, GRC summit coming in uh, in the month of first week of June, as Paul mentioned. And uh, please do come and uh, be a part of the journey. Okay. At this point, I will end this call, and uh, we look forward to additional topics on several other challenges, challenges coming through. And this deck will also be available to all participants. Yes, it will be available to all participants along with the uh, recorded video of this. And we will also send you some white papers how you can address some of those challenges, not only planning for your immediate needs, also your future needs. Okay, thank you all for attending this call and uh, you all have a rest of a wonderful day. Thank you so much.